Right, so here we have the indicators working now. I'll go around to the aftermarket sports bike shop indicators that I've put on additional. So for me they're a little bit brighter than the OAM ones. So stuck these stuck these onto hand guards. I don't know whether some people might think they look a bit tacky, but I, don't, I think they look okay. My top tip, although it's got self adhesive on it, I'd go for I think they call it mammoth. It's a double sided tape. I just sliced it down uh, to make it a bit narrower, and it's stuck a lot better than what what it came with. Then the root for the cabling obviously down each side of the handlebar and any biker takes the tank off and feeds it all through there I didn't do that I just took the side cheek off that side cheek off this this one and just fed it down through there and then I made my connections here so what I've done is I from my left and right I've put the kit brought the cables down here and then I've taken the pair the four wires up to the can up here so I picked back up through the root there along under the seat sort of mirroring the route for when we connected to the battery up to the rear of the pillion seat cover so as you can see here it's uh, it's very busy what I did what I, I soldered them nearly all the joints but you can't You've got to use these plugs at some point from the ice cam. I think as a, a design feature, what they, what they should do is put some push fit connections in as opposed to using these, but that's just my personal opinion for what it counts. So as you can see, it all gets very busy in here. When I got the first 2013 LC, I could get, I could get a, my puncture repair kit, a um, couple of tools, some allen keys, uh, adjustable spanner, I could get all sorts in here, but now I, I can't get out in here. Uh, I have got the heated seats on this one. Um, what I do is, I also, I've got some like wax proof paper, I just put that over that so that hopefully they can keep the rain off of it. Show the back ones first. So. Okay. <laughs> so. so that's the that's the rear ones. So just um, if you want to go to the side of there, John. So all I've done is I've just used one of my old number plates. I know it's got those of you who may or may not notice that it's got the EU uh, symbol on it so I just made a little bracket and there's there's a there's a an opening under the under the mudguard cover there so I just fed that through up to here on each side um, so straight into there so we'll go to the front so as you can see daylight ones are on tell them reflection is on the glasses <laughs> and then your daylight running light goes off there you go so to summarize good and bad points um, I know it's a lot cheaper as I mentioned earlier on to get the SCAN unit you're talking in the region of 200 pound if you bought the Denali front lights, you're talking £150, something like that, for the front, for the rear, I think they're a little bit cheaper, 130 The plus points with it is if, if you don't want to mess about soldering cables and all like that, then you've got to, obviously on top of that, you've got to buy the harnesses. Um, so it, it can come in five, six hundred pounds for, for a setup. The advantages to that is, um, I won't deny it, that a Obviously, the Denali, the Denali had a better, better 
light altogether because obviously that, that it's a premium product at a premium price these are 10 pound a time and if they if they last the season that's, that's you know i think that i think they should last a couple of seasons at least i mean let's be fair a lot of us out riding in winter are we so i've not got not got issues there I'd, I'd, when i installed it i didn't want to drill down guards or anything like that on any biker he drills through the center to run his cables round i just wanted to make it so that i could put it all on and take it all off without damaging anything at all i didn't want to wire into the circuit of the turn switches anything like that so the plus side is we buying all the right gear is it's just plug and play really but i think you will struggle for room in the back here um, i've used three of the four circuits and I've, so what i did was i took the, the three wires from each from each of the indicator de running daylights like i say down through there jointed it out under here and then run a pair up through here so what did, what did I spend? Spent this was second hand, which was 115 pounds. Um, I didn't use any of the connections that I bought, so I didn't, didn't need. You don't need to buy them. You could quite easily solder them through. It cost me a tenner in cable. Um, the front lights were 10 pound for the pair. The rear lights were, I think, I think they were less than that. So 20 pound for your lights. Tenner for your cable, that's 50. If, if you haven't got a soldering kit, that worth 15 pound, so that's 55, uh, 65, sorry. Um, and it had some heat, uh, shrink on heat, heat, heat shrink, heat shrink. <laughs> and I bought some uh, braided. Uh, sleeving i bought a variety of sizes but you can get away with if it's just one pair you can get away with about five mil and, uh, and about i can't remember the sizes now but if you bought a selection they're only about a five a piece for whatever selection you get five meter five meter roll and you and you're away and it and it, and it makes a nice job of it i bought a, i bought a thing on ebay and for 18 pound it had four different sizes of braided sleeving it had I think half a dozen different packets of different sizes for shrink on sleeving as well so fairly easy the downside is it took me a day it took me a day to do it messing about on and off um, bacon buses in t involved so it, it did take a, a long while what I thought was a long while to do I can't imagine even if you bought all the right gear it would take you it'd probably take you half the time it's very easy to set up the uh, the software we've done screenshot of what we set it up for so it were blue for the left for the signal red for the right one amp per per circuit you, the daylight running is off the yellow circuit and you just make it so that it turns off the daylight running when it when the turn signal activates um, we'll do screenshots of that of the of the setup and there's also a screenshot of how I wired it a, a schematic of how I wired it so that's it jobs are good right quick update um, installed some Chinese cheap day running lights onto the handlebar guides uh, guards um, one of them on a, on a Wales mini tour in torrential rain packed in so I'll put another one on um, just about to go to Ireland so <laughs> I'll put another test on the on the waterproofness of them to be honest I don't think they're up to much um, the only other option is to get to get the Denali ones at £180 as opposed to these that are £10 for a pair.